my first experience with Rithik was when I did the hide and seek commercial. That's the first time I met him, and uh, he was really, really uh, down to earth person, which I didn't expect. And with all the stardom that he has around him and within him, I think he's a very nice human being, and that's why I clicked with him. I think. And that was really, really nice uh, meeting someone like that. And I enjoyed doing work with him. We were doing a commercial called Da Milano for uh, Hide and Seek. And the production house called me and they said that I need to style Rithik. And I said, okay, fine, that's good. And uh, I met up with him. I, I went to his house, which was really nice, beautiful house. And he just gave me a slight brief of what kind of clothes and the look that it's supposed to be. And I had already come with my homework done, and he was quite impressed with that, and that's how our first meeting happened. Um, my association started with him over there. Actually, even before that, Anaita Shroff was styling for Doom, and I did uh, his outfit for Doom, but I had not met him at that time. So Da Milano, the hide and seek commercial, was the first time I ever met him. And then it just moved on from there, and then I uh, was called in for John Players. And for John Players, he was there from the conception of the entire campaign. And his one word for me was, whatever you feel is right, just go ahead and do it. His, his involvement is more than 100%, much more than 100%. From his look, from his hair, makeup, his body, his workout, his everything is more than 100%. Clothes and styling, he would take uh, my notes as to whatever I keep prepared for him, but he gets very involved. In fittings, most people when I do fittings, they wear one outfit, they say, okay, theek hai, fittings are okay, let's go for the shoot. But Rithik does fittings of every garment. I have to uh, sit and alter every garment to his satisfaction. Do another fitting, then we come across the look, this will work, that will not work, and then we go for the shoot. The tattoo thing was a slight uh, kink actually, you know, because the look didn't demand for it, but when he rolled up his sleeves and everything, I just thought that the tattoo thing would have worked. And earlier, initially, he was not sure, but the, but the minute we started doing that on him, he just loved it very much. And he said, let's go for it. I don't know yet. We've, we've, we've not come to a confirmation yet about the tattoo. But if it does need to be a confirmation, then probably I'll have to sit and design the whole thing. Because this tattoo that was on the hand was, was, was of stocking based, actually. Uh, with Rithik, what I've noticed is, even in his films, which I have not been involved with, is that he gets into the character. So no matter what he does, whether he's done Krish or whether he's done whichever movie he has done, you know, Doom or whatever, he, he actually studies the character. He gets into that entire play. Even, for example, when I did Hide and Seek with him for Da Milano, he completely got into the whole Italian feel, you know, and we know Rithik the way he is. And the minute he's in front of the mirror and then he gets into the character, you actually don't believe he's Rithik, he's the character that he's playing. And that's what I feel makes him very versatile. So any look, anything that you give Rithik, I think will suit him. Uh, currently, I have been working with Lara Datta and with uh, Bobby Deol. I've just done the Pantaloon campaign, which is also out right now. And we're shooting again with Bobby on the 17th for Pantaloon. Then I've also done the Miss Players with Amrita Rao. And I've also uh, done clothes for Anaita, for Drona, for Priyanka Chopra. I think each one has got their own character. It's, it's, it's not so much about which person needs to change their style. I think everyone comes with a certain style and a certain image. Like Konkana has a beautiful style, but it may not work for Bipasha Basu. You know what I mean? But I think that in terms of if they're films, if, if you're talking about films, then I think that everyone works according to the look that's required. And everything goes down to a designer or a stylist to make that look happen for the star. And personally, I think everyone has their favorite designers or whatever, so so be it. I hope so because it's, it's all about time, it's all about uh, the kind of looks that, that need to be done. And hopefully that if I'm, I'm, I'm going to work on his next film or his next commercial or whatever, I'm sure he will go by the looks I'm going to give him.